Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. Apologize for the video clicking off there, Scorpio. But where we left off with is the peaceful warrior potency. So that's representing that, you know, because it came in sideways, is that this is this energy of peacefulness is going to be overwhelming you, you know, with this very sense of tranquility. And it's letting you know that this peace, you know, is going to be something that is the best choice to take. So, for example, this person that's in this two-faced energy, it's tempting to want to lash out at them. You know, it's tempting to want to, uh, you know, get revenge because of all the evil things that they have been doing to you. But it's letting you know here with this card is to just basically release that negative energy. And you're going to have more of an effect by just, you know, taking the higher road, just taking this people, peaceful energy and just kind of like walking away is the energy I'm picking up. Apologize for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. Now, if you notice, they both are kind of in the same position here. You know, this person is just walking away with a cloak on, and this person is in the same kind of position, just walking away. They're both facing the same direction. So I feel like you're just basically leaving this person, you know, behind. You know, you're not allowing them to, you know, get you flustered, not allowing them to, you know, make you angry. You know, you're just taking the higher road and not allowing them to soak your energy because getting angry and lashing out on them back is still them taking some form of energy from you. So I feel like you're just taking the higher road and just, you know, basically washing your hands of the situation. Now, the next card out for you is Vitic Self Mastery. And this card represents like your body is a temple. And it's letting you know that like the, you know, the Bible says the Holy Spirit dwells within the body. And that is why our body is considered a temple and we're supposed to respect it. It's letting you know to remember that on a deeper level, you are your own source of love and divinity. So true fulfillment cannot be attained outside oneself. So the only admiration, you know, that we should seek is never, you know, we should never look outside ourselves, you know, because people are people, you know, and God is the only one that she, we should want to um, make happy, you know, we should only be thinking about what Jesus wants us to do. And he is the only one that, you know, truly matters. Everyone else's opinion, you know, on us has no weight. And it's letting you know to remember that. And to, if this person, you know, perhaps if this is like a relative, you wanted their validation, perhaps, you know, or a friend, you know, you wanted them to accept you, that you wanted them to be proud of you. And of course we all want our family to be proud of us or, you know, things of that nature, but, you know, if they're coming from a low vibrational demonic energy, they're always just going to be jealous. When anything good happens for you, it's just going to be them wanting to, you know, steal your light, wanting to soak your energy, wanting to put you down so that you don't feel happy at that moment. So it's letting you know, basically, just to allow your only source to be, you know, Jesus, just to know that, you know, God is with you and he is proud of you. And that is all that truly matters as long as, you know, you're walking down that divine path. Now, you know, also having, you know, respect for your body as well. Your body is a temple, like I said, and these uh, demonic energies have no right to disrespect you in any way. So always respect yourself and don't allow, you know, anyone to disrespect you. Now, with the Vedic uh, being here, this has lots of medicinal benefits. It could be a hormone regulator, helping soothing PMS and other reproductive uh, issues. Women also use this plant to promote lactation or aid in childbirth, also known as the chastity tree. And it's, you know, very much associated with chastity, you know, purity. And uh, in Greece and Rome, they used to carry the Vedic twig, you know, in the art and stuff as a symbol of their chastity. So there's lots of reference here to purity, you know, keeping your body pure and not allowing, you know, demonic energies to try to, um, you know, corrupt you. You know, keep yourself spiritually aligned and, you know, just go into basically hermit mode is the energy I'm picking up here. And as far as this false person this false friend that's like going around, you know, being, you know, demonic, just basically watch them for your energy, you know, stay aligned on your divine path because you do have blessings coming in towards you, you know, just stay spiritually aligned. All right. If this resonates with you, Scorpio, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.